Hello everyone. In this video, we are solve this interesting radial max question. This question is a square root 15 plus a square root 21 plus a square root 25 plus a square root 35 over a square root 3 plus a square root 7 plus a square root 20. How to solve this radical expression? So first of all, I can say here is a square root 15. It will be square root 3 times 5. We know that 3 times 5 it will be 15 plus square root 21 it will be 3 times 7 plus square root 25 it will be 5 times 5 plus and here is square root 35 it will be 5 times 7 and divided it will be square root 3 plus square root 7 plus we know that square root 20 it will be 4 times 5 then i can see easily square root 3 here is square root 3 plus sorry times here is square root 5 and plus and it will be square root 3 times square root 7 plus and here is square root 5 times square root 5 plus square root 5 times square root 7 square root 5 times 7 it will be square root 5 times square root 7 over and it will be square root 3 plus square root 7 plus square root 4 times square root 5 okay now in this expression look here is square root 3 this is square root 3 so i can say here is square root 3 is common so it will be square root 3 then this value divided by this value it will be square root 5 this this cancel we'll find out here is square root 5 and this I divide this it will be square root 7 plus and in this expression you can see the here is square root 5 is common so it will be square root 5 and this I divide this it will be square root 5 plus and this I divide this it will be square root 7 okay and here look it will be square root 3 plus square root 7 and we know that square root 4 it will be 2 and it will be square root 5 and here is square root 5 okay now look in this expression you can see easily here is square root 5 plus square root 5 this and this is common both value are same so i can see easily here is square root 5 plus square root 7 is common so this value divide this value it will be square root 3 plus and this value divided by this value it will be square root 5 over and in this expression you can see that here is square root 3 plus square root 7 plus and 2 is square root 5 you can see that 2 is square root 5 it will be square root 5 plus square root 5 okay now you can see that here is look we'll find out here is square root 7 plus square root 5 this below at uh, this below same and it will be square root 5 plus square root 3 over and in this expression you can see easily uh, here is a square root 7 plus square root 5 look i take this value and this value and this value and this value it will be square root 7 plus square root 5 and here is plus and it will be square root 5 plus square root 3 okay now you can see easily here is well this value and this value same and this value this value is same so we'll add in this radical math question at this moment we'll add here is square root 7 plus square root 5 is equal to a and here is square root 5 plus square root 3 it will be v okay now you can see easily look here is square root 7 plus square root 5 it will be a and this value is v and it will be a plus v okay now at this moment we'll add this value it will be x so at this moment we'll find out the value of x in this mass question so I can see that it will be 1 over x and then I change this value it will be a plus v over a b so at this moment 
I can say that it, 1 over x is equal to a over a v, this a v, and v over a v. So you can see that it, this value will be 1 over v plus 1 over a. Because of that, this this cancel this this cancel if i note here is one this is one so it will be one over v plus one over a now i put the value of a and b in this expression so you can see easily here is one over x is equal to one over v v is equal to square root five plus square root three so it will be square root five plus square root three plus one over v I mean a sorry here is square root 7 plus square root 5 it will be square root 7 plus square root 5 okay now look here 1 over x 1 over x is equal to 1 over square root 5 plus square root 3 and I multiply this below it will be square root 5 minus square root 3 and again here is square root 5 minus square root 3 this this cancel where find out again previous line and it is also same here is square root 7 plus square root 5 times it will be square root 7 minus square root 5 over square root 7 minus square root 5 okay now in this expression you can see here is 1 over x is equal to look if you think this is a this is v so you can see easily a plus b times a minus b it will be a square according to this identity and here is b square then here is square root 5 minus square root 3 and it is also same case here is square root 7 whole to the power 2 minus square root 5 whole to the power 2 and here is square root 7 minus square root 5 okay now i can say 1 over x is equal to this this cancel this this cancel we'll find out here is 5 minus 3 square root is cancel and we'll find out here is square root 5 minus square root 3 and it is also same case square root is cancel square root is cancel we'll find out 7 minus 5 and here is square root 7 minus square root 5 okay now you can say easily it will be 1 over x is equal to square root 5 minus square root 3 and it will be 2 plus and it will be also square root 7 minus square root 5 over 2 look here is least common value is 2 so you can say easily here is least common value is 2 2 1 over x and here is 2 so this divide this it will be 1 1 times this will it will be same will square root 5 minus square root 3 and this divide this it will be 1 1 times this will it is also same value so you can say that it will be square root 7 minus square root 5 now at this moment you can say that square root 5 square root 5 is cancel out because of that this is plus but this is negative so you can say that it will be 1 over x is equal to square root 7 minus square root 3 over 2 now in this expression uh, I can say easily again it will be x is equal to 2 over square root 7 minus square root 3 okay now you can say easily here is x here is it equal so I can say that it will be 2 times square root 7 plus square root 3 and it will be square root 7 minus square root 3 times square root 7 plus square root 3 and multiply both below by square root 7 plus square root 3 then at this moment if you use it is again this identity as square minus v square it will be a plus b times a minus v it will be a it is v so you can say that it will be square root 7 whole to the power 2 minus square root 3 whole to the power 2 and it will be 2 times square root 7 plus square root 3 then you can say easily here is 2 and it will be square root 7 plus square root 3 and it will be 7 minus 3 square root is cancel square root is cancel it will be 4 then this 4 divided by 2 it will be 2 so we'll find out our final answer is x is equal to square root 7 plus square root 3 over 2 this is our final answer in this radical math question thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care